So this year, uh, the red and white preview is going to look a little differently in order to provide a safe environment for our students to compete. Traditionally, we'd love for our community members to come out and watch all of our new um, teams get after it and, and watch introductions. But unfortunately, due to COVID-19 precautions, um, we're keeping it safe and restricted it only to students only because they're participating in our controlled environment at school all day long anyways. Um, so we want to still provide that opportunity for our kids to support each other. Um, part of the reason is also new league developments, which are restricting um, fans um, to 25% of venue capacity. And at this time, we're still, as an athletic department, um, searching for the best answer on how we're going to facilitate offering tickets to different events to all, to take into consideration the 25% venue capacity. And right now, um, we've got a good plan, but it's not ready for the red and white preview. So at this time, um, the easiest thing for us to take care of, um, that was a decision made by the district's COVID response team and um, all of the head coaches involved, we determined that the safest thing for us to do um, to give our kids the best chance for competition this season is to um, keep fans out of the red and white, um, allow students to participate, and live stream it so our community members can still see what's going on at Concordia Junior Senior High School. Does the no parent rule apply to all of our sporting events this year or just the red and white school? Just the red and white preview at this time. Um, of course, the thing that everything's fluid right now. Um, I don't anticipate that becoming an issue where we're having to exclude fans, but obviously that's a directive that comes from um, the state government and our, our county health department um, to determine what way we should go. Right now, um, it's a green light for fans. We just have to come up with a system of how we're going to provide ticket options for our stakeholders so they can, they can come to events. Um, and I'll get into more of that <laughs> probably a little later because things are still in the developmental process. But we do have a good game plan on how we're going to be able to provide tickets to our community members, our parents, our students. So everyone still has access. And then those who don't fall in that 25% of venue capacity range um, will have everything live streamed by Cat Scratch Productions this year. So we're really excited to offer that.